Hey everyone. Now, I am fascinated by many things, but I get an enormous kick out of finding just how we can maximize our results. Thinking critically, because anything, any system can be made better. And after lots of somewhat wasted time over the course of the year, I have found, at least for myself, some true gems. Ones that I want nothing more than to share with you. Stop it. You're welcome. Okay, cześć i czołem, kluski rozołem. I'm Michael, and I'm a Polish super freak. Just meaning that I freak out on all things Polish. Cheers, let's get started. Zacznijmy. To make things a bit more digestible, let me break it down. Number one, quality time. This really rang true for me and was something I found from a video in 2019. And like it or not, want to admit it or not, Lamont from Days of French and Swedish has a great point. He said, I'm not saying that you cannot learn a language in 15 minutes a day. I'm just saying that you won't do it. See what the difference is? Here it is. There is no difference. Now, this is such a great statement, well put and pretty dead on. He goes on to say, you can get too comfortable not doing what is required of you to learn your second language. It's about gravity. This immediately made me think of my time at the University of Lublin, where I was studying Polish for a month. Even then, I gravitated to doing what was comfortable, not what was needed. Classes were tiring um, and somewhat stressful, but the new forging of friendships were exciting, okay? Going on excursions and exploring the city with Anthony, Agnieszka, uh, Marcy, etc. But guess what? We spoke 99% English in our free time, not knowing that some of the best learning experience happens outside of the classroom. Now, going back to Lamont's video, it's honestly one of my favorite videos of his, and it brings me to this bold message of challenge yourself. Put in not just time, but focused time. Many of the greats have said it, so don't just trust me, but intense concentration is what moves the chains forward in language learning. It's what moves us forward. Are you getting uh, bored? Are you losing focus? Well, get up, walk around, take a break or do something else and set the scene, right? Because um, it's best to kind of make a tranquil spot for optimal learning um, because studies have shown that when we're stressed, anxious, worried, upset, we do not learn, okay? We just don't. Um, so design a little study nook, uh, make it comfortable, well lit, and make sure that it sparks joy. Number two, build a relationship. Now, the next tip is an easy one to wrap your head around, and that is to build a relationship with the language. In another of Lamont's videos, and as I'm making this, it is his most recent video, he points this out to those people who are just beginning a language practice. Um, and one of the eye-opening points was when he quoted a polyglot friend of his, and she's actually a Polish lady who teaches Swedish named Claudia. Um, and I will now and forever take this outlook and run with it. She says, my languages are my friends. I hang out with them because I enjoy spending time with them. You're never really done with a language. You just grow to know it more deeply. The only thing that I would add to this metaphor is that when you're picking this friend or mate and forging this relationship, find one that you truly vibe with that has relevance to you because as we know, the brain is evolved to disregard that which it thinks has no relevance. So build a close relationship and cherish it. Now this is how I feel about Polish. And I get weird looks sometimes when someone asks, 
what do you plan on doing tonight? And I answer, a bit of language study. I even try to stay clear of saying the word Polish for fear that they're just going to say, oh no, here he goes with Poland again. You're telling me that's never happened to you? No. Number three, immersion. This one is another recent find, and it comes courtesy of Ollie Richards. This quick takeaway is simple because his video is about the French Foreign Legion, the French Legionnaires, and how they learn French. Now, while this elite military group is comprised of mostly non-French speakers, something I didn't know, uh, it also immerses each participant in the language using some very unique means. If you want to learn more, click on his link below. Um, but now, what I found amazing was that through their training, they managed to use and understand the French language at remarkable speed. Um, however, many of them you know, had quite a bit of di difficulty when it came to reading French. Hmm. That is the exact opposite for me when it comes to Polish. Again, as much as we'd like to write and memorize, listening and understanding is paramount. Comprehension must be at the center of whatever system you have in place. Your progress is highly dependent not on the amount of hours with the language necessarily, but the amount of time your noodle grapples with the language. Number four, go out on a limb. And as you may recall from my last video, I told you lovely people that I would venture out without a safety net. And as it so happens, I did. I managed to get in touch with someone I hadn't spoken with in a long time, and we FaceTimed uh, for a solid 50 minutes. My Polish was absolute rubbish, uh, and I was so nervous, um, which didn't help at all. Um, I was able to put a few solid sentences together. However, most of the time it was just short stutterings with several elementary level grammar mistakes. I like your shoes. But, you know, um, I took the first step, and that's something. I'm more fati. I'm certainly going to add some italki or some hello talk time in the future, because it can only get better from here. Okay, now speaking of time, and time is number five. Not the type of time that I spoke about earlier, uh, not focus time, but time for your brain to marinate in the language. Learning happens when we understand messages. We listen and compute enough, our brain cannot help but to acquire the language. This can be done quite easily by watching a film, show, or listening to an audiobook, something that you've already seen or read. But here's the key, no English. The no English rule is actually something that I just now adopted because let's go back to uh, Lamont's rule on gravity. Your brain will gravitate back to English at any chance it gets. It's a sly, slippery bugger. Recently, I added NordVPN, which allows you to connect with another country's server. Uh, thanks for the heads up, Ali. And now I have several times the viewing options as I would on US servers. So. My next few months are going to be Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. And I will stop there. Five is usually a good number to stop with. Not too much, not too little. Uh, remember to be patient with yourself and completely let go of being anywhere near perfect, especially in Polish. Am I right? Okay. The year has begun. Stay strong, my Legionnaires. Shoot me a line if there's anything that I can help you with. Otherwise, keep on keeping on. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers. Now, um, What makes you feel like you're better than us? What is that accent? <laughs> is that for real? What, you're trying to say something now then, yeah? It's, are you, that's just a noise. Are we supposed to be able to understand her? <laughs>